Hi everybody. I'm Carol with Free Spirit Arts. Welcome. So welcome to making faux leather. This is how I do it. I have all of these that you get in packaging from Amazon or this is actually from a Joann's haul that I did. What I do is a combination of spray inks, distress oxides, and whatever else decides to fit my fancy. Honestly, this is just how I do it. I Normally, I will also coat it with either homemade um, what's the word? Mod Podge with, you know, glue and water. I have used uh, glaze or the, uh, what's it called? Matte finish. That's fine too. It's like a wax. It makes more like a suede, I think. This is going to be I'm not positive I'm going to use it, but I want it available to me uh, in this gnome journal that I'm making. What a mess. <laughs> this is when glass is just the perfect platform to do this on. My journal's going to be about six by nine, so I think this will be generous. I think it's about 14 by, I can't remember, 16, 24 it looks like. So it'll be fine. I haven't wrinkled it up yet. I kind of mixed sprays because I'm running low, so. I wanted to see kind of what colors I was going to have. This stain is so sticky. And I actually thought I might experiment. If you saw my other video where I made stain, I thought I might play with that a little bit. Ugh. This gnome journal's got me excited. Let's see. I gotta use my heater a little bit, guys, so go get a cup of coffee or something. Or close your eyes and picture this as the wind and meditate for a minute. I actually like um, what the heat gun does to the paper. If you hold the heat gun on there just, you know, a little bit longer than you probably should, it, um, it just colors it. It's actually pretty cool.
Let me see if I can, I'm not sure. I don't really want this torn. If I can help it, I'd rather not have it torn. I might want to tear it myself later, but because it's the cover, or it could be the cover, kind of thinking I'd like it solid, so I'm gonna to try to be a little careful. The bag that I did is sitting over there drying. Um, I didn't do anything else to it except I uh, coated it with some Mod Podge, matte finish Mod Podge. is I really don't want it all one color. That's not helpful. So I'm going to get some other ink. Let's see what I've got over here in my bag of tricks. Ooh. That was some dark green. Let's Let's call this the back and see what this does. Hmm. Hmm. Since we're doing a foresty, gnomey, kind of thing, maybe that might not be bad. That's a purple lid, so I don't think that's the right heliotrope, heliotrope? I don't know, it's not the right one though, so. There we go, that's what you want. I want it to kind of look like skin, you know, like leather. Oh, beautiful. Nice. I like the light and the dark, so that's fine. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, yes. texture the better I do like the little green you can just barely get a hue of it yeah. can you see it let's see if you can see it you see it if I can get you back. You back? Okay, so I actually like that, just like that. I don't know if it needs anything else. I thought about adding some black, but I, I really like it just like that. So I think I'm gonna call that. Now, let me see if I'm, I am going to stain this, I think, also. Because it's got glue in it, it's going to protect it. Let 
but what I want to watch for is, is it going to make it smear? I don't want this homogenous. Oh, yikes. You know, I don't want it to blend all together, so I'll just try a little, a little dab. Can you see over there in the corner? Oh yeah, that's gonna be fine. I think, as long as I don't stay with the brush too long. This will dry clear. with a sting, so I guess it won't be totally clear. But it's not, it shouldn't be cloudy. Oh yeah. This is so fun. If you decide to make faux leather, don't overthink it. However you want to do it, it, it'll turn out. Every piece will be different and you just roll with it, you know. If it's too dark, then you can try to lighten it up with colors, you know. Maybe put a little yellow in there or something. You could gesso. Gesso would be great. It would lighten it up. And it's not going through the bag, which is awesome. Now what I have done with some of them, and I did it accidentally the first time, I Mod Podged it and then sprayed it with water to add some more ink. That's a cool effect. Not gonna do that with this one. You, you really can't screw this up. Okay. I know I don't have every bit of this. It's okay. I can go back when this dries. This is a great project to do if you don't have a journal in mind, but you've got all this paper and you're not really sure you want to take on a big journaling project or anything. Just make some full leather. Hang it up to dry somewhere or let it sit or whatever. I usually drape it over something because the back can get sticky and you don't want it to stick down. Okay. I'm calling this, I think. Let me see. Oh, man. It's going to lighten up when it gets... I have to get a little peek. Let me dry it just a minute. Oh, it's not going to... My gun's hot. Does yours do that? It bums me out. It gets hot really fast, and then I can't use it. Okay. See, it's already taking on all that glue. Oh, it's going to be gorgeous. Doesn't that look like a woodland journal already? Okay. I'm going to move this and then we can count paper. We're moving along.
Moving right along. I'm not going to put everything away, but I am going to get this ink corralled because I don't want it on anything else. You should see the paper bag. It doesn't resemble a paper bag at all. I gotta get some of the glue off, guys. My poor manicure, lack thereof. I'm gonna move you a little bit so you can see. There you go. How's that? Okay. Gotcha. Now I'm thinking this journal is gonna be about six by nine. And I'm not totally committed to a specific cover, but I might, I might do a lap book style. And I'm thinking I want Whatever I do, I'm thinking I want about three signatures. So what I was thinking is I kind of make them in a row like this. And I go like, let's see, this would be like so, right? So then it's six by 12. I think I'm going to bend these all and then figure out what I want to do. This one, I don't know how I'm going to incorporate it. It's going to have to be, I'm not sure. I want those butterflies on the corner and I really like this. So I may cut it down. Not sure. And I wish these were double-sided. But they're not, so I'll probably line them or something. This is beautiful. And as always, I'm open to changing my mind. Okay, so those are the big 12 by 12s. Now, let's do... to coffee guide. So these are, see I should know that math, but it should be five and a half. Yeah, okay. So that'll be perfect. This one's torn and I like it, so I'm just going to use it. I was going to get all this done and not do it on video, but um, I remember when I was learning how to make journals, a lot of people didn't show the process. I think Gail Augustinelli was the first gal that I watched that, you know, showed all the nuts and bolts. And I really appreciated that because it helped me figure out 
how I wanted to do things. I, I don't know. When, a, when you see a beautiful journal all put together and you've never done it before, for me, I was like, wow, that looks like magic. But really, it's just the laborious process of matching and measuring and, oh my God. I'd be okay if ink got on this paper, but the glue is driving me nuts. If I had a sink right here, I would wash my hands. <laughs> Those of you who have access to water in your studio, yay. I'm thinking that my signatures will be 12 pages and I'll have three of them, I think. It's gonna depend on whether I do a lap style or not. I, I don't know. Hello. We're over you now, I don't need you anymore. And then I have two other piles, so we still got, I still need a few. My vision for this book is um, thinking it's going to take quite a lot of preparatory work and then a snap to put it together. If I do the lap book type cover, I've never done one of those before, so that's going to be a lot of measuring and for me that's brain work. Um, and then I want to do a lot of sewing on the ephemera. That too is going to be laborious, so it'll be a lot of preparatory work. And then when I get it all together, or when I get all the things prepared, then it's just a matter of sewing in the signatures and gluing in pages and that kind of thing. and having fun along the way, <laughs> right? Oops. So other than the paper pack paper, this isn't gonna have any white paper in it other than the backs of these. Okay, let's see what we have here. That's a pretty stiff pile. Where is my cutter? Oh. Oh, it's right in front of me. So these are one, two, three, four, five, six. Boy, did I get that uneven. Hold on.
so I'm gonna do eight and a half or eight and three quarter. And I can always come back. I can, you know, I can always cut it more. I like it when the pages are a little staggered. That's a little bit much though. Hmm. See how it's it's about a half an inch. Hmm. Hmm. I'm gonna still I'm gonna wait. I'm not gonna trim it too short. A and three quarters. This little trimmer is a mighty little trimmer. I'm, I'm really liking it. That's going to have to be distressed somehow. It's a little too bright. It's a little too happy. Oh, I need to cut this. Yeah, I'll cut the top. No. If you're gonna cut the top, you better turn it around. Well, that's pretty. Okay, what to do with this? And I want this, so. Wait a minute, I want that, so cut the top off. Phew, I almost boo-booed there for a second. Right? No. Oh my gosh, this is hard. Did it, okay. Oh yeah, now these. Now these I'm just gonna fold and use for backs. I will probably distress the edges and tear them. And these I was thinking I would fold this way. So, trim them and then fold them. This is um, parchment paper, so it's pretty strong. I don't need to, it doesn't need anything else behind it or anything. But the back sides will make great space for pockets and stuff. Okay, so let's put it like the pocket will be on the inside or the belly band or whatever it is. My idea was I'd have at least one in each signature if I had three signatures. And then I've got some left over for backing tags. Or maybe I could glue some, tear it and glue it on. Um, some of those pages that are white. Basically, what I'm doing is loosely picking my papers. Loosely. I could change my other mind. I do want to get these folded because it tells me how thick, how much bulk I have. That blue is kind of a pleasant surprise. 
with all the browns and this is out of that ledger I think it's an 8x8 eight eight or 6x8 six that I got 60% off at Joanne I've never ordered I don't think I've ever got anything shipped from them but the shipping was $4.99 no matter what you ordered so geez you know that's Pretty good. Mm, I'm gonna go like this. <clears throat> I think I like those big moths, or the ones that, the butterflies that look like moths better than I do the butterflies. Okay, so we're gonna call these the paper packs, and this is coffee dyed, and this is this is lined. So let's start with this one. And we'll put one. How many do we have? Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. I'm going to go with 9. So we'll go 1, 2, Your dead battery. Three. One of those. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine and one of these. That should be about twelve pieces. That's a that's not a very big signature, but we still have other things to put in there. So we're gonna start with that. That's gonna be our beginning. Okay. Now let's do maybe something very light. So one, can you see what I'm doing? Probably not, huh? I've got it pushed right up to my tummy. Hold on, let me scooch my chair in. Is that better? One, two, three, four, one of these, Five, six, seven, eight, and one of these. Okay, now let's do something a little darker. Is beautiful. Let 
Now what? I think I'd like this for the last one. Let's do orange. It looks like I might run short. One, two, three, four. Let me grab some more. The signatures might be too big. It's a lot of paper. We did four, so we need one of these, and five, six, seven, and one of these okay so I have these left over I really love this but I may have to use it for a tag or something well hmm. let's see how thick we got That is a really good size book. Look at that. That's not counting any ephemera, no pockets, not my great big bag that I'm gonna put in here, no doilies. It's too much, it's too big. So if we take one out, did I do four? I did. Well, no wonder. Okay. So if I take one out, mm, still kind of big, but I like that size. So I was right. Three. How did I get four? I just got too happy and kept making. Okay. We could add this other signature if we do a flip Top, it could be on this side or tucked into this folding side too. Um, we'll see. We'll see how that goes. So these, they match as far as the thickness. They feel good. I may trim these, but I'm not gonna do it right now because once you trim that off, you're done, you know, that's it. So, we're going to say these are ready. They're not sewn or anything, but we're going to say that that might be what we use. And I'm going to put the other somewhere. It's not in my way. And I want to start making ephemera. We've got a few minutes, so let's do it. This is that big pack. I don't know about the peacock. I might... I don't know. I might cover her up, actually. I love the colors of this, but I don't know if a peacock's going to go. Yep, still filming. Don't watch my camera. I'm using a different phone because my other phone is uploading my last video. Hmm. Hmm. Why is 
is that upside down? Is there a different way to fold it? That's totally upside down. Oh well. Hmm. Okay. Fine. the color of this but it's a map it really doesn't I don't know I guess it could go yeah that'll make a nice pocket I really like this I love those these um, need hinges unless I I mean I could use the bottom that could make a nice hinge but the rest of it, I don't want to fold. Well, I guess I will. I guess I will. But it would have been nice if it came with hinges. And then I really like that. Should we make it? Let's bake it. Now, I may have ruined my distressing. Oh, it's going to be okay. It's a quiet day at our house. It's a quiet day. feels like maybe it could use a little uh, a little something lace or fabric or something I'm so glad I took the time to um, organize a little bit I mean I didn't you know, go to any extremes, but I did make some pockets for things and get all my scraps kind of together. And gosh, it just makes plain so much better. This is not going to be a shabby chic journal, so I have to be careful here. Let's just do it. Yeah, that'll make a cute little pocket. Cute, cute, cute. So we'll stand it up there out of the way where it won't get into trouble. I need to back these tags. I like the other side better. I 
there another one that size. There's a lot of ephemera in this pack. What else you got? What else you got? This is the fun of it, right? If you hurry through everything, then what part of the journal is fun? I'll just dress the edges of these once I get them off the backing. So close. I wish this would fit. I don't think that's going to either. Oh, it will. Oh, great. So next video, I bet I will have the bag sewn up. If that, if I decide to use it. If it turned out and I want to use it, I'll have it all sewn up. I hope. Maybe. Let's let this sit for just, just a second. Let's see what else we got. I don't think this train's gonna work for me at all. So I'm not gonna back that. I love that, but it won't fit. Mm -hmm. fit. That won't fit. Those would if I cut them apart. How about these? I don't know that I need to waste the backing on those though. But these I do. Maybe I should just do that. Yeah. I've decided, I think I've decided that I want a bunch of tabs. And I still have to make some file folder pages. Anything else really, really small. Perfect. What's the other one look like? My hands look like a mechanic was here.
Sorry guys, it's quiet around here. I'm kind of in the zone, I guess, huh? Mmm, somebody's here. Well, not necessarily. Somebody came within view of our dogs. <laughs> Whether it's on the sidewalk. dog, my grand dog, just had eight little girl puppies. Eight. No boys. Rottweiler puppies. Oh, gosh. And she is just a precious dog. Eight. All girls. All oh, those are going to be beautiful. Yeah. Purdy. Yeah, you can hear all, well, you guys probably can't, but they are um, getting all of our roads ready for a big storm. They're spraying the roads with that, whatever it is that they spray the roads with, salt, brine, stuff. So I am not saving every scrap. I save scraps that I know I'll use relatively quickly. And the rest is gone. It has really saved me not saving every little scrap. Let's see, what else you got? Oh, great. Nope. No, no, no. I don't know if I've got anything else. It's little. I guess we'll put poison instead of arsenic. <laughs> I'm not going to stress that. Yeah. The time we got. About out of time. So um off camera I will keep doing this and getting my ephemera ready. I'll make some pockets, probably make a belly band. I will get a doily out. Um, what else? I have a list and I'm going to check my list so I don't forget something. Okay, y'all. I appreciate you watching my channel. I'd love a thumbs up. Tell me what you're thinking about this journal. Let's talk about it. Okay, guys. I'm going to call this a journal. I mean, I'm going to call it a video. I do appreciate you guys. Thanks for watching. 
let's all take care of each other.